Des Moines Sports Station, KXNO. Murph and Andy, we are back here, hour number one, and uh, our friend Tana Gertz from HeyTana.com joins us again, and she's here to help us with a woman's perspective for all you sports fans and, I don't know, just, just guys man. out yeah, there. Yeah, just kind of yeah. a little, little Maxim radio. Tana, let's just let's get it going right away because I just uh, email came in from Balls 3. Oh, all right. Uh, Balls 3 says, so if your wife hates her hair long and gets it cut short, and you really don't like it short, then she's mad because you didn't tell her you liked it better when it was longer, but she hated it. You try and be supportive with what's easier for her and what she likes, and you're in trouble either way. How do you win? You tell her that the shorter hair looks much sexier on her and that you just can't believe how attractive she looks with the short hair. It just emphasizes her beauty, her jawline, her eyes, her chest, whatever it may be. (laughs) And you just tell her that she looks so sexy and then she'll now become that sexy woman that you want her to be. It doesn't matter if the hair is long or short. It's whatever makes her feel more confident. So Yeah, but but this guy wants her hair long. No, no, here's the thing. How's he he get it back out long? He didn't say he likes it long. He he did he said what did he, he didn't say he liked it long because i listened for that yeah, she uh no he she, didn't say that no right. so he, he never told you, her. no she said because you didn't tell her you liked it better when it's long well he never said he likes it better longer oh, so my it's guess his is fault. this guy no it's not his fault she hated it long she hated it long okay so guess what if a woman hates her hair she's not going to do her hair therefore she's going to look like a dog and you're not going to want to <laughs> take her around your friends so you never told her that you liked it long if you liked it long my guess is you don't care what her hair looks like most right, men don't what what if what if uh what if he does like the hair long but now it's short Okay, he's so, got to so play you, around. He's got to tell her that it, she looks super sexy, but when it was longer, you know, her butt looked better. Um, she looked thinner. <laughs> oh, she but, can see through that, no, though. No, no, hey, no. Hey, love your short hair, but when it was longer, your butt looked a lot better. When it was longer, <laughs> I that. found myself looking more at your rear end, and I find that the sexiest part of <laughs> you. How? What, he the, followed her hair yeah, down? Yeah, the hair okay, goes, you, right. your eyes go down. Would it be inappropriate for this guy to buy his wife a wig? Uh, extensions, and I know an amazing man in town who does the best extensions. You know, if she, if she should say in a day or two, I absolutely hate this short hair, I don't know what I was thinking, you can come over to my website and I will give you the best uh, hairdresser in town that does the best extensions. So if she starts saying, I hate this, long, this short hair, I don't know what I did, then you can go, you know, I have an option, and let me tell you what, you're going to love those bad boys, because I'll tell you what, Curtis loved Really? Oh, oh yeah. Curtis loved my extensions. Uh, th- this goes all the way back to uh, All in the Family. Remember that when uh, Sally Struthers put on the, the black-haired wig, and it drove <laughs> Rob Reiner crazy, and then she started to get insecure that he really like drove that. him crazy. I don't remember in that when I love way. All in the Family. Yeah, in a good way. He yeah. just couldn't get enough of her. Right because it was such a different look for her and then she started getting insecure about the way she really looked and he explained no oh, honey I, I it's you that i love it uh-huh. was just a change of pace you were mixing it up and i can't keep my hands off you oh and, there you go yeah just keep going with the the hair makes you look sexy and because the bottom line is guys if your woman is confident in whatever her hair is short long medium who cares she's going to be sexier so it's all the confidence so go for it balls whatever your name was balls three go for it balls three murph and andy uh with tana here from uh, hey tana.com and uh, you can call in talk to Can- tana live on the air at 284 kxno most people are sending emails they're probably, chicken they're, they're afraid <laughs> pick up the phone and call don't worry about it it's not like i'm gonna um say that you're crazy or well, that you're doing anything wrong they'll figure that out this one but- just came in from dana in altoona she says i'm a recently divorced single mom of two I love sports and listen to KXNO in the morning and afternoon while I'm at work. I would like desperately to avoid being a brown banana, as Murph and Andy like to say, but I still need to figure out a way to put myself out there. Where do I start, or at the very least, how do I avoid being a brown banana? Now, What is a brown banana? To to Andy and I, uh, let's be be clear about We better break it down. Yeah, (laughs) to to be very clear, a, a woman can be in her late 30s 40s 50s 60s and still be very attractive and sexy and beautiful and all those things a brown banana though is somebody 
that's 40 years old but is still trying to look 24. Okay. She's got way too much tan. She she's sh wearing okay. clothes that are inappropriate. She's putting the makeup on with a paintbrush. Too yeah. much jewelry, the, hair too blonde. Hair is okay. way too blonde. I mean, she, she's... She's trying to be much younger, and she thinks she's young, and she's trying to she's dress still, young. She thinks that she still belongs on the shelf with the yellow bananas, but uh, she's gotten kind of brown and okay. spotty, and it's time to take the banana... Put it in the freezer and, and make wait, banana yeah, bread. Yeah, right, right. Wait for banana milkshake. Right, okay. Right. Now she and, and, and you've seen the Real Housewives. Yes. Most of those are, are brown, brown bananas. bananas. Okay. Yes. How does she? How can she stay sexy? Put herself out there to attract another man, but but not be sure. The brown that's banana. really simple. Um, because I I was faced with this problem before children. You know, I had a great body. I had a six pack abs and all that. And then when I had kids, my son stretched me out. That now I, I hate to I hate to crush this image for all you men that think that I've got this rock and body, but I have stretch marks. <laughs> And I'm not proud of them, and I'm embarrassed of them. And Curtis doesn't like them either. I'm sure of it, but he would never say that. So what I have to do is I have to work my assets. Um, I wish I could wear those tummy shirts that show that the beginning part, because up here is really nice, but the lower part isn't so good. But I can't, because then I'm being a brown banana. So what I do is I try to work what I know is good. So whether that be my toned arms and I'm wearing sleeveless shirts, whether you have a great chest and you're wearing tight um, tank tops as long as it's lifted up, great if you've got great legs wear the shorts whatever it is so work your assets and forget about what isn't good because I mean it kills me to know that I can't wear a tummy shirt because I can't um, but we get older and everything starts to change so work what you've got and flaunt what you got and um, the right guys will be attracted to all those good parts forget about what isn't working and it's kind of a fine line isn't it Tana it's between it's somewhere between dressing your age and still having fun and being kind of sassy. Right. You want, I mean, you know, I, I hide it because I have to, but you can wear cute little black dresses with the great heels and, you know, cute purse, great jewelry, and you get to go out with your girlfriends and you feel sexy. And once again, it all goes back to that confidence. As long as you're feeling good about, you know, what you've got and what you're flaunting that is good, um, you'll feel sexy and you'll you'll bring in the right guys. Tana, uh, you're blowing up here on the email, so I'm, we'll have to keep firing them at you here. Uh, Murph and Andy at kxno.com. i got another email here yeah, from uh, Matt. Yeah, go ahead and read that one, Andy. <laughs> hey, guys, I have a question for Tana. You talked last week about how to, to get your wife to let you do things. We have two sons, aged three and six months. My wife is not from around here, so she does not have friends outside of work. I love golfing, but I do not get to do it that much as she makes me feel guilty when I ask her. Also, not do not get to go out with the guys much. I'm a good father and a husband. I do share do my share of taking care of the kids and do help her around the house. How can I get out more without her holding it over me? Okay, well, she needs some friends. She, she needs some like. friends, and so I don't know if he heard last week when I said. It's well. It's all. It's the woman's responsibility to find those friends. It's not this guy's responsibility to find a network for his wife. So that's not his responsibility. My guess is she doesn't want to branch out just yet. Um, hire a babysitter. If you don't know of anybody, ask your mother to take the kids and tell your wife she's got the day off. Go sleep. Take a long bath. Whatever it turns her on. Go lay out in the backyard. That the kids are covered, and then you go guilt free. You're leaving. Um, there's nothing I hate more than when the women make the men feel so guilty that you could just feel the guilt when they pull out of the house, out of the driveway to go do something fun. As long as you're not taking advantage of the situation and you're not abusing um, the time, you know, you're not neglecting your children and your wife, I say make it easy. Get out, get a solution. So he plays golf. She goes and gets, gets a, a manicure, pe pedicure. If she isn't right. interested in doing that, then, you know, tell she can sleep in. Have your mother-in-law come over. Whatever it is, but make give a solution to the problem. She's it, not it finding It sounds like it would be nice, though, if, if, if she could find some friends and then that would you be could have a little, back, a little trade back that and forth. She ideal. goes out with her friends. He takes care of the kids. He goes out with his friends. She takes care of the kids, and you get a right. little give and take. You've got to have a little give and take.